performance sports car have always been fun. Alright, what's up you guys? Uh, it's me, I'm back, and today I figured, hey, how about I just make a uh, collection video? And that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to be showing you guys basically my entire game shelf that all my games are on. So um, we're going to start off with the top shelf. So the top shelf is where most of my box systems go. So um, right here we got like the blue 2DS that has Mario Kart 7. I got my 3DS in the box right there. A uh, teal Game Boy, Famicom Disk System, original Famicom, my Switch, my original PlayStation, my recently acquired 25th anniversary Red Wii, and also behind it I got my Xbox One S, and I got a couple other things like some awkward box games I have no room for at the moment. Then down here is where more of the retro stuff is. This is where my NES, Super Nintendo, and PlayStation games are. Um, I got quite a few NES games. I got some of the ones that are, you know, good. Like, I got Double Dragon 1 and 2, along with 3. I got Highlight, Flintstones, Zelda, Star Tropics. I even got this right here, Mad Max. It's actually a fairly bad game, but I only got it because I'm a huge Mad Max fan. Um, and then I got some Super Nintendo games. I got some of the good ones. I got uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, uh, Mario All-Stars, Street Fighter 2, uh, Mario Paint, Top Gear, Donkey Kong Country, Frogger. And then I also got some Super Famicom games, including the Super Game Boy 2, which is pretty cool. Most of these games are RPGs, like Chrono Trigger, and then I got like Final Fantasy 4 and 5, I also have Mystic Quest, Sword World, and then I have uh, Mario World and Yoshi Safari, which is uh, one of the light gun games. Then I got another copy of All Stars right there. Fit there we go. I also got a couple Famicom games, I got one disc system game, which is Japanese Mario 2. Then I got Mario USA, which is actually the American Mario. And then behind it, I got a Game Genie. Then I got a box Super Famicom game. It's Militia. It's a military strategy game, you know, with like Gundam style robots. Got some PC games in the jewel case, like Far Cry, Need for Speed, GTA 2, Lego Island. Some 3DS games, along with some uh, normal DS games, and another one there. Then I got a couple N64 games, really don't care for that. And then down below are boxed Nintendo stuffs. I got my box NES action sets. I also got some box games. I got some really good ones. I got Pilot Wings, uh, Legend of Zelda complete in box, Double Dragon complete in box. I got Highlight, Yoshi's Cookie, a few others, Pinball, Knight Rider, and then I got the cleaning kit which is cool. Then this is my Famicom. This is actually a second Famicom that is strictly for parts. Um, so that's cool. Got my oldest NES I've had since I was, uh, you know, a little kid. Then I got a top loader. Don't really use it much, but uh, I plan on using it to play Famicom games when I get an adapter soon. And then down below that, I have... Uh, some modern stuff. I have mostly my Halo games down here behind uh, Lego Mario. These are all my Halo games I have, and then it goes into Xbox One, a Genesis game, which is Mortal Kombat 2, and then some Atari games. Then down below that, I have a couple PlayStation 2 games and mostly original Xbox and Xbox 360 games got some of the good ones and then down below that is just miscellaneous got my switch games uh, VHS tapes 360 box PS2 PS1 box and Pokemon cards just random stuffs and uh, that's about it that's my entire game shelf uh, not a whole lot but a decent amount that I've acquired I'm pretty proud of this collection uh, 
been collecting games like this since I was a little kid, so still trying to keep that, you know, going. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. I plan definitely plan on adding more to the collection. So um, anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.